and welcome to another edition of Simply Fit. And I am your host, Sandy White. And as usual, I am super duper excited because we got some really good stuff here. Uh, but before we get started, I just wanted to thank WYTV7 for allowing Simply Fit Radio to be a part of the Christian Broadcasters Network. And remember, guys, this is a nonprofit organization. They do wonderful things in the community. So please click the donation button and make a generous donation today. And I want to remind you guys of Simply Fit's mission statement. Our mission statement is simply to provide simple tips and strategies to individuals so that they can become fit in their mind, body, and soul, thus allowing each of us the opportunity to share our gifts with the world rather than having them aborted by Satan. And remember that being fit is more than just exercise. And also, you guys, you know that we are on the mission to save one million lives because with nutrition and exercise and all the wonderful things that we're going to talk about today, it's a combination of how you can stay fit you can uh and gary's going to talk a little bit more about this because uh, we were talking offline and he's he had, he had a lot of information um so i want him to talk about how uh some of the the products can really help uh when you get uh, uh in, infections or or uh some challenges that eating well and exercises just won't work with, okay? So these are wonderful products that we're gonna go over today. And I wanna introduce you guys to the owner of Third Rock Essential Products. His name is Gary Gruen to the show. Yay, how are you, Gary? I'm great, great, thank you for having me. Oh, we're so welcome and, and awesome. It is just a wonderful um, opportunity to have you here. And I was glad when our uh, executive producer said she went online and found you and all these wonderful products and she's using them. And I want you to repeat some of the information that we were talking about offline. And one of them, because um, my family, we're in the state of Maryland and we have challenges here in uh, with uh, sinuses. But before you get into all of that, because that's going to be your second question can you tell everybody because I, I will talk so i don't want any, anybody to miss anything can you tell everybody how, what inspired you to create the company sure sandy so i'm uh i am a phd chemical engineer and uh my hobby has been surfing for a long time so i started the company as third rock sunblock uh, about 15 years ago and the problem was that I had a couple of young surfers that I befriended that surfed with me. Uh, one in particular it, it just had turned 20 and he came down with melanoma. And uh, when the dermatologist saw him, uh, he was very light skinned, you know, blue hair, uh, yeah, blue hair, blonde hair, blue eyed, uh, you know, almost albino like kid, but he loved to surf. And the, the dermatologist said, well, you can keep surfing, but you're going to get melanoma again. And then I had another uh, young guy that I uh, met uh, several years ago who uh, his mom sent, us, sent him to us. He got melanoma at age 17. Now, bear in mind, neither one of these boys ever had melanoma in their family, no history of it, but uh, both of them were light-skinned and apparently very susceptible to uh, melanoma. So I said, well, there's got to be a better way because sunscreens aren't working. So I developed a new sunscreen, which is... Um, developed uh, over 15 years ago now, and we started selling it about uh, close to 10 years ago. And that's called Third Rock Sunblock Sunscreen because the EPA does not, the FDA, sorry, does not allow you to call it sunblock anymore. That's a long story. I won't get into that right now. So the inspiration was to save my own skin and those of my family and friends so that they wouldn't get, you know, sun, su uh, they wouldn't get sun cancer, skin cancer. Um, which if you live to be 65 in the United States, there's a 50-50 chance you'll get some form of skin cancer. And that doesn't mean you have to be Caucasian. Uh, it, it's, it's an epidemic. And the reason is because the, the sun, uh, the, 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 in the, at the time, there was this big issue about the uh, ozone hole in, in, um, over uh, Australia. And I had the opportunity to go down to Australia and they were using different sunscreens than we use in the United States. And in Australia, which you may not know, tw they have 12 million people, 10 million people live on the coast uh, because you can't live in, in, in the inland of Australia. It's a desert. And so these people that live on the coast, they're always concerned about getting some form of skin cancer. So it's real prevalent down there. And what I saw was that the people down there were using completely different sunscreens, mineral-based, 
mostly titanium and zinc oxide, mostly titanium dioxide at the time. And I said, there's got to be a better way. And as a PhD chemical engineer, you know, I've been trained to solve problems. So I went on a quest for making a non uh, endocrine disrupting cytoprotective immuno enhancing sunscreen, which I know sounds like way too much information, but basically what it is, is food grade edible sunscreen. And all of our personal care products that came out of that, we say, if it wouldn't, if you wouldn't put it in your mouth, why would you put it on your skin? Your skin's your biggest organ. Your skin protects all your other organs. And your skin is a very important part of your health and wellness and fitness and everything that you guys stand for. And so my view was, we better make something that's really, really different and really, really good. And that's what I strive for in all the products that we make. We've grown from Third Rock Sunblock to Third Rock Essentials because now we make other products besides just sunscreen. That's awesome. And, and you are so correct. A lot of people don't realize that not only in the summertime, but even in the wintertime that you need to put, you need to protect your skin. And right. so, you know, and just like you say, it, it doesn't matter what your nationality is. You need to protect your skin. So exactly. let me, with, with all of that, um, with, uh, um, you went over, there are a lot of different uh, sunscreens out of there. What patents did you guys have to, um, create in order to be able to promote sunscreen uh, well sunblock well well it is sunblock but it's sunblock sunscreen because of the fda monograph released in 2011 which was the first one since uh 1978 so that's a long story the fda literally with sunscreen is not doing their job they don't know what they're doing and i'll tell you why so you asked the right question about patents so i'm also a registered patent agent so not an attorney but an agent so all I do is write patent applications and get patents for people. In fact, that's my full-time job. Third Rock Essentials, which was Third Rock Sunblock, was a hobby that's become a business. Awesome. So getting back to the patent situation, we had to create something that was not endocrine disrupting, no female mimicking hormones. Uh, all the organic sunscreens have female mimicking hormones in them. Things like methoxycinamate and oxybenzone and the salicates. Those are all female mimicking hormones, the biggest one on the planet is the pill. So you don't want that on your skin because that's toxic. And what you're trying to do with your skin is try to get rid of toxics, not toxins, not try to get them into your skin or on your body, especially in the presence of the sun, which is the biggest free radical generator on the planet. It causes your skin to literally make free radicals. So the sunscreens that are out there are water and oil based. So what does that mean? Well, it means that by definition, they're acidic. And it also means that they fall apart. So what happens with oil and water is you need an emulsifier to keep these things together. And believe it or not, most of these emulsifiers are toxic. So if you go to the grocery store up there in Maryland or any place, maybe Wegmans or, or Whole Foods, and you buy salad dressing, you'll see that it separates. The oil and the vinegar se separate. Well, why do they separate? Well, two reasons. One is that they don't have a good emulsifier to keep them together for a very long period of time. And sunscreens are made with oil and water too, so they separate. The other problem is that what happens that causes emulsifiers to fall, uh, to emulsification systems to fall apart are salts. So I can guarantee you that the, the salad dressings that you see in the store that have separated completely, they have higher concentration of salt in them than the ones that don't. Well, why is that important for sunscreen? Well, when you make sunscreen, what happens is you have a certain pH as I mentioned, all the sunscreens that are out there have pH that are seven or below, which is acidic. And what also happens is you have to have an emulsifier to keep them together, which is usually toxic. And if you're using just zinc oxide, which is the best all natural sun absorber and sun reflector, if you use zinc oxide at a certain pH, zinc oxide becomes zinc hydroxide and zinc hydroxide is a salt. And so what happens is all the sunscreens especially the mineral-based ones, they fall apart over time. Our product doesn't do that. What we do is made in glycerin. It's not made in oil and water. We use vegetable organic kosher glycerin, which is the combination, nature's combination of oil and water. And so what happens is we don't need an emulsifier. And the pH of our product is above nine and a half, which keeps our zinc hydroxide from ever forming in the first place. So we don't form the salt. Our emulsion stays consistent and we still have product that was made seven eight nine years ago that hasn't changed that's awesome so outside of 
uh, what you just explained to us on the on, on the products and, and well the ingredients that you're using it almost sounds like you can eat it which means that um, it's good for you know their skin the skin anybody's skin as well as the uh, planet because now you've taken all of the chemicals out am I correct you are Shani that's awesome so yes you hit it on the head so we say once again if you wouldn't put that substance in your mouth if you wouldn't ingest it why on earth would you put it on your skin your skin's being your biggest organ so you want to nourish your skin you want to nourish and protect your skin. What happens with the sunscreens? Well, going back in history in the United States, sunscreens used to be tanning lotions. Right. You know, the, the big health thing in the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s, and even into the 90s, was that women wanted to go into tanning booths, and they wanted to get tanned, right? Because they looked better, they looked healthier. Even if they weren't, they looked that way. And it was a, you know, it was a, I guess, a status symbol to have a tan, right? But the point is that the suntan lotion was not necessarily to protect your skin. It was just make it turn a certain color. Um, you can do that. And suntan lotions, some of them still have self tanners in them. And the self tanners and the suntan lotions are toxic substances that will allow your skin to turn brown. Now, you've probably heard of SPF. They, they recommend that sun protection factor of at least 15 and maybe up to 30. So what does that mean? And this is how upside down the FDA has it. So sun protection factor means that for me, in 15 minutes in the sun, I'm going to start to turn pink. For you, and I'm talking about broad sunlight, no clouds in the sky, for you it might take 30 or 35 or maybe even 40 minutes before you start to get a little bit of a twinge of a burn. But what, it, what, what SPF means is sun protection factor. So let's say for me, 15 minutes times 30, if you have an SPF of 30, that's 450 minutes of protection. From what? From turning pink in the presence of the sun. And they do this, believe it or not, in laboratories under UV lamps to determine how long it takes for you to turn pink and then for how long it takes for you to turn pink with the sunscreen on you. Well, 450 minutes of protection from turning pink sounds good, it sounds like you're being protected from the sun, but the problem is that's only for UVB. And UVB are short, high energy burst rays that come from the sun that cause you to turn pink and eventually sunburn. Well, I don't know about you, but if I start to sunburn, it means to me, get the heck out of the sun. <laughs> yes. Right? But the problem <laughs> is that I surf. And if you're exposed to the sun for more than 15, 20, or 30 minutes like I am when I surf, or if I'm on a boat, or if I'm running a marathon, or whatever I'm doing, I'm going to have more than 15 minutes of exposure. And by the way, 15 minutes of exposure in broad sunlight is all you need for vitamin D. You don't need more than that. But getting back to UVA versus UVB. So UVA is what causes uh, burning. It causes redness. But it's UVB. I'm sorry, the other way around. UVB is what causes redness and burning. UVB is the short energy rays. UVA is what causes DNA damage, long rays, long penetrating rays that cause DNA damage, aging, wrinkling, and eventually, if, you're, if your immune system can't handle it, skin cancer. So it's these UVA rays that have nothing to do with SPF that are causing the major uh, cancer problems, not only in the United States, but throughout the world. The reason that that is an issue is because the FDA doesn't regulate UVA. They regulate UVB. They regulate SPF. SPF is UVB only. So here's the deal. You can put crap on your skin. You can put oil, mineral oil. You can put water. Water has an SPF of two. Mineral oil, an SPF of four. Uh, you can put salicylic acid, which is aspirin. You can put uh, methoxycinamate, which are these endocrine disruptors on your skin, and you won't turn pink, and you'll be protected from UVB. But you won't be protected from UVA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and so, so what happens is you wake up the next morning sore. That soreness means you may not have gotten burnt, but your skin cells are actually splitting apart, maybe mutating, and the beginning of skin cancer. So the FDA doesn't regulate that. The FDA says, well, you ought to have what they call multifactorial or uh, at least have UVA and UVB broad spectrum protection. Well, that's right, but they don't rank that. 
they don't rank UVA protection. They only rank UVB protection, which is just SPF. So what I decided to do is make an all natural, fully food grade edible sunscreen that works is protecting you from not only UVB, but also UVA. So you're not gonna get any damage. We use only zinc oxide and our zinc oxide never changes into zinc hydroxide. I know that's a lot of information. No, no, it, it is, but it's really important that folks understand when they go and they pick products, it's, it's no different than when we tell people when you eat, you got to start reading the label. And it's, so it's the same as when you put stuff on your hair and on your skin, you have yes. to read the label because otherwise you're poisoning yourself. And, and I don't want to run out of time because you guys have so many um, really good products and you also have a, uh, a breakthrough study that I, wanted, I want you to talk about um, before we get off. And, yes. want, and, and it now, it, what it does is it, it, uh, it, and you can explain it a little bit more, but it, it uh, basically wipes out UTIs. But I also want you to talk about the sinus one real quick, because there are a lot of people here in Maryland, like me and my family, we have sinus challenges, and I want to get the, the name of that product, and then I want you to go into the product that really stops uh, staph infections. Yes. Okay, great. So, um, one of the things that made Third Rock Sunblock become Third Rock Essentials is something called chelated silver oxide. And the chelated silver oxide is, instead of chelated zinc oxide, is like something like colloidal silver, except we, we uh, use citric acid and we chelate it to make it a different molecule. And what, you're gonna, what I'm going to tell you is going to sort of blow you away. So the silver oxide we use is organic, inorganic molecule. So colloidal silver is just silver particles floating in water. What we do is we take silver particles and we increase the concentration all the way to 4,000 parts per million in glycerin. And by doing that, we can put this chelated silver oxide in many, many different products. And what it does is it wipes out infectious bacteria. And when I say wipes it out, I mean all infectious bacteria, not like antibiotics that wipe out certain strains of bacteria. We wipe out the entire spectrum of bacteria infectious bacteria. So everything from MRSA, which is really that, and you have uh, infection down there, it goes to the gut. Once it goes to the gut, within 24 hours, it goes to the brain. And then what happens is you've heard the expression, your grandma's loopy. These poor people that are in the hospital, that are in the, in, in the uh, nursing care facilities, they lose their mental faculties. They can't think straight. They're taking antibiotics to wipe out the UTI. And they basically are going downhill quick because it wipes out their immune system. So that's the Nutrisporin with the chelated silver oxide. We also make the chelated silver oxide so you can ingest it and keep your gut healthy if you have any infectious bacterial issues. And we also make something called a deodorant spray, which I think uh, you're interested in as far as a sinus spray. Uh -huh. So the reason that that deodorant spray works, we call it our everything spray. Uh, we can't call it a hand sanitizer. Well, we don't call it a nasal spray. Again, we, the FDA doesn't like silver, so we have to be very, very careful what we say. We don't even say it's antimicrobial and antibacterial, even though it is, because we can't put it on the package because we don't have FDA approval for that. However, everybody knows anything about silver. They know it wipes out infectious bacteria. We have NIH, where you know where that is in Bethesda, Maryland. We have NIH papers, okay, which show that silver oxide particles wipe out viruses, several different types of viruses, including respiratory infection viruses. So what will this stuff not do? Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of things that it will do. And I know we have data that shows it wipes out UTI and prevents it from coming back. Uh, when applied directly to the urethra, that's the Nutrisporin product. Um, we also make a breath spray. So the problem with odor is that it's usually dead bacteria. So dead bacteria causes odor. So that's why we made a deodorant spray and we also made a breath spray. Same basic product, chelated silver oxide, in glycerin and water. The breast spray has spearmint oil in it. And the deodorant spray has a little bit of aloe and a little bit of jojoba oil, just as a nice soothing, when you put it under your arm, you know, if women shave, they don't want to get chafed and they don't want to have burning. So we make a very, you know, soothing product. Uh, we, I carry that stuff on the plane with me because as you know, the plane is an incubator for all these, germs. you know, anti germs, anti yes. you know, bacteria, you name it, it's all in there, right? It's a breeding ground, right? It's a, it's a, it's a incubator for bacteria. So, uh, and I get, I'm getting ready to fly out to Portland this week, Oregon, 
and I don't want, you know, to be exposed to any of this horrible stuff that's going around. Nobody does. Uh, we know that the chelated silver oxide is something that will boost your immune system in the presence of, of microbial organisms that are not healthful. And of course, uh, the other anecdotes I have are all over the place from wiping out E. coli. If you ever get a food poisoning issue, this stuff will stop it dead in its tracks. Uh, my wife was at a, a wedding years ago. She got an open buffet she went to. She took this stuff. And if you've ever had food poisoning, you know the rest of the story. She yes. couldn't move. What happened was after all of that occurred and she took the silver oxide, within, she went to bed and, and 12 hours later woke up hungry. So if you've ever had food poisoning, you know that doesn't happen. You don't want to look at food for like three days, <laughs> right? So, I mean, it's just, you know, I have a lot of anecdotes like that about the product. Um, but that's, the FDA does not like our silver oxide because there were people back in the early 90s that were making it. It was like snake oil. They were saying it was curing everything from cancer to diabetes. And, of course, you can't make those claims. It just, it's just nonsense. Uh, all I do know is the stuff we make is really different, and it works really fast. We chelate it with citric acid, and citric acid gets into the cell rapidly, all biological cells need citric acid. And so this happens like literally within seconds. That's awesome. Gary, we are, we, you have provided some wonderful, helpful, uh, life-saving information. And, and you hit on the head of the program. And I don't want anybody to miss any opportunities to get the products. Can you tell them how they can uh, reach you or reach someone from your company so they can order the products? Sure. Um, so the name of the company, it's www.thirdrock. It's three, the number three RD. So that's easy to find three RD rock. And then uh, uh, thirdrockessentials.com. Or you can, you can find it on Amazon. If you, if you go to Amazon and buy it, that's fine. As long as you leave us a really good testimonial, because that means a lot to us in terms of cash flow. Better way to do it is to go online to our website and order it directly from our website. And uh, there's coupons, Third Rock uh, Sunblock is one of the coupons, just Third Rock, and you'll get a 20% discount. We also have an affiliate program if you're interested so that you can sign up to be an affiliate with no obligations whatsoever. Uh, that gives you a 20% commission for everything that you sell to your friends and family, as well as a 20% discount on our products. Um, so we have about 180 affiliates now across the country who've signed up. And we're looking for more and more affiliates all the time because it's people like you and your audience and all the people that run the station that are going to be buying our products. And you're going to, you know, word of mouth travels fast if you got a good product. Yes. So again, it's it, and my, my email address directly is G for Gary and then G-R-U-N-E for Gruen. And it's at thirdrocksunblock.com. That's my email address. But if you go to uh, Third Rock Essentials, www.3rdrockessentials.com, you'll find all of our products and you'll be able to find everything you wanna find about everything we've talked about tonight. Outstanding. You guys, make sure you take advantage of the information that Gary has shared with you. There are a lot of germs out here and you guys know right now you can put yourself a position you can put yourself in. And I know using these products will really help you out. Take advantage of it. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. I am your host of Simply Fit Radio. And until next time, guys, we will see you next week. And remember that this is a nonprofit organization. WYTV7 has given uh, Simply Fit the uh, Simply Fit Radio the opportunity to come on with their Christian network, uh, the Christian Broadcaster Network, and we want to continue to make donations to them so they can continue to allow us to bring uh, information to you uh, like Gary did today. So click the donate button, make a generous donation, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you, Sandy. Take care. Stay healthy. Yes. Stop using chemicals and start healing with silver. Pick up Third Rock Essentials Silver Infusion Blue Bottle, our concentrated Excelsior Serum, or any of our silver-based personal care products. For your gut, your gums, a UTI, a cut, a bite, or even bad breath. Until Big Pharma took things over and began telling us little people that all we knew about our health was wrong, silver was a primary component of the medicine cabinet since way back before the ancient Greeks. If you had access to it, you lived a longer, healthier life. 
being born with a silver spoon in your mouth turns out was a good thing. At Third Rock Essentials, our signature chelated silver oxide formula is our key ingredient because we know it's simply the world's best weapon in the fight against infectious bacteria. Third Rock, personal care products you can trust.